Okay, so I'm thinking of doing this video once a week, maybe once a month. I don't know exactly what. You guys let me know what you think. Called Bonnie's Corner. When I kind of talk to you about me and and my past or, you know, just, I don't know. I can talk to you like this. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is why do I like snow dogs? Why am I drawn to them? Susan, I love you. I love you and I love you. Okay. Just in case you're watching this, I just want you to know I love you. So this is the story. This is how the story goes. Uh, when Susan and I were in, Susan is my sister, my other soul sister. I've known her since I was 11 years old. We have been the best of friends and sisters ever since then. Um, I am blessed. I have two, two sister BFFs, so I'm super blessed with that. <laughs> Hi guys. And, um, we were, we were getting out of school. It was middle school. And we were going to get on the bus and we saw this wolf dog. You know, when you're 11, 12 years old, anything that looks like them is a wolf, obviously. So, <laughs> so um, we tried to get him on the bus. Susan and I had this thing about, we always brought dogs home. Always. We always brought dogs home. And um, we wanted to bring him home. We even named him. We named him Wolf. We're like, oh my gosh, we got a wolf. We got a wolf. We're so excited. We got a wolf. So... We tried to get him on the bus, and the bus driver refused to let him on the bus. And it was probably a 10 mile or more walk home. Um, but, yeah, no. He was a wolf, and we had to take him home. We couldn't leave him there because what would happen to him? So we got off of the bus and started walking home. I don't even remember what kind of. We had something on him that we made into a leash. I don't even remember what it was. And. <laughs> So we walked and we walked and we walked and we actually walked all the way home, but we didn't get home until dark. It took us a very long time to walk and we would stop in the, um, in bushes where it was cool and we'd sit in the bushes and, and relax and we'd go to like churches that had water fountains and get drinks on the way back. And so <laughs> now neither one of us could keep him at our house. But there was a vacant house down the road that had a fenced-in backyard, and nobody was just living there. So we took him there. And when I went home, my mom was walking out of the house with a picture of me in her hand. And she was pissed off. Let me tell you what. My mama is like five foot nothing. And she used to tell me, not me, she used to tell people when she'd get mad, she's a Texan. And um, she'd get mad and she'd say, I'm going to beat you up one side of the street and down the other. And I was like, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. And um, she started crying and said, Bonita K, where have you been? And I was like, I missed the bus. So I walked home. I didn't mention Wolf at all. And she was crying. She was mad. She was like, I drove up and down the road looking for you. And I was like, we must have been in the bushes cooling off, Mom. It was really hot out. And so um, so we got home, got in trouble. I got grounded. I probably got a whooping. I probably got both. I probably got a whooping and grounded, but it was worth it. And so um, once we got inside, I snuck out, and I took him some food, and he had water, so... tripod I was wondering where that was oh no wait that's a <gasps> you got his eyeball out oh you monster no that's his nose what is it's his nose okay sorry uh trying to remember where it was oh so I stuck him I stuck him some food down to this house um and then we found a husky and we called her Sheba she was a black and white husky and um, we called her Sheba. And so we kept the two of them together. It was, we had Wolf and Sheba. And there was a few houses that were <laughs> vacant in our neighborhood. And um, one, we managed to break into the house itself. So we broke into the house, put the dogs 
inside of the house and we would go from one house to another because you know they have realtors coming we were actually in the house one time when the realtors came at the dash we were hiding in closets and we were like freaking out thinking we were going to get caught um the dogs weren't with us that time though we were just doing cartwheels and stuff in the house you know being shameful little children the shameful little children we were remember i do have adhd hd 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 and i always have had it so anyways we ended up, we kept them, and I just love them. Oh, my word, I love them. And one day, I went down to get them, to take them for a walk. See, in that time, Susan had gotten grounded. And I think it was like for like two weeks, and she wasn't allowed to come out, so she couldn't do anything with the dogs. So I did everything with the dogs. And I've always been a person that animals have been drawn to. I always say, babies and dogs love me. Um, and so, Monroe, stop that. And so, um, she was grounded. She couldn't go near them. I did everything with the dogs. Well, when she got ungrounded, she, um, you know how kids are. I said, oh, they love me more. And she's like, no, they don't. I'm like, yes, they do. So, I said, let's see who they'll come to. <laughs> so, it's kind of my own fault, too. So, we, we called them, and they came to me, and, and she wasn't very happy about it. I didn't really know that. I was 11. I didn't know any better. So, a few days later, um, I went down again because we would put them on leashes and take them for a walk. We took them everywhere we went. And they weren't there. And I was freaking out. I mean, like, I started sobbing. And I went to her. I'm like, Susan, look at she were going there. I'm, like, losing my mind. And she's like, oh, my gosh, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. So, we made up flyers. We looked all over the place for them. Um, I think her sister or, or someone that drove, I don't remember who it was, someone that drove took us around and we had the windows down and we called their names and called their names and called their names and um, they never came. And I was really heartbroken about that one. Um, my parents had Great Danes and Pit Bulls and a Doberman um, and a Boxer Beagle named Stubby. But, um, but we never had the northern dog and I absolutely love them so we looked forever and we never found them never and I was I was devastated I still remember them and I still think about them well when we were grown like grown like really grown like old grown well I'm not old but you know like old, older than young grown she told me one day that um she gave them away and I she was upset she was crying she felt really bad and it was a guilt that she had carried with her for a long time and she she told me she said you know and she was young nobody hold this against her I love her to death and um no so she um told me that she gave them away and it which was great because they actually ended up with homes and they were taken care of they weren't just taken care of by two little girls that were you know moving them from house to house so they ended up in loving homes and I, I'm happy for that and so but after that that's all I wanted I was like oh my gosh I want one of those dogs so bad I wanted a wolf one day and I like big dogs which is why I wanted a Malamute um, I love the look of the husky and because the Malamutes look so much like a husky, but they were so big, that was why I wanted a Malamute. And then um, I heard that Malamutes, you know, were mellow. And so, you know, huskies get a really bad rap. They really do. People say some horrible things. And I understand that because the huskies are not for everybody. Um, so that's why I wanted a Malamute. And then I always wanted a husky, too. Remember, I had wolf. I think wolf was probably a Malamute um, mix with wolf he was a wolf super cool and so um i forgot what i was gonna say oh so i always wanted a husky too so and then i always i love white dogs i don't know why i've always loved white dogs and um we had sammy's for a while but i didn't want all that hair what am i gonna say so I, I always won a Siberian Husky, and I thought, oh my gosh, if I could find like an all-white Siberian Husky with blue eyes, that would be amazing. And I dreamed about it for a long time. I had named her Monroe, um, because you can't have a blonde-haired, blue-eyed beauty without naming her Monroe. So, um, 
that's I just wanted her because of that. I was it was from my childhood, just you know having Sheba and having Wolf and going through what I went through to get them and keeping them the way that we did. I just always wanted them, so that is why I wanted Monroe and why I wanted Tonka and Legend. And I just was always, you know, when we were younger, we couldn't afford to get one um, because they cost a lot of money. So we had to build our credit so we got credit cards so I could get one. We don't have credit cards anymore. Those things have been cut up and they're gone. But that's just TMI. My bad. Okay, so that is why I love snow dogs. It's why I wanted a husky. It's why I wanted an Alaska Malamute. It's why I love them. I do. I love them. I don't. I can't imagine my life without having a, one of these in my life or both of these in my life um, forever. So. Um, thanks for sticking around if you did this whole time. I appreciate your time. And <laughs> look at that face. Look at That's my knee. You're a big guy. You're a big guy. I'm, oh, yep. Somebody wanted to know how much he weighs. He weighs a lot. And my leg's saying that right now. It's saying he's really heavy. <laughs> So Monroe, 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 hey, Monroe, come here, Monroe, Monroe's going to say, see you later, alligators, and Tonka, come here, Tonka, he listens really good in the house, it's not outside, Tonka's going to say, after a while, crocodiles. And I'm going to say be blessed. Be super duper duper blessed like me. Because I'm blessed. I'm blessed with my puppies and I'm blessed with my family and I'm blessed with my YouTube family. And I love you guys so much. So I'm going to say see you later.